Hi, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lorax. A 12-year-old boy searches for the one thing that will enable him to win the affection of the girl of his dreams. To find it, he must discover the story of the Lorax, the grumpy yet charming creature who fights to protect his world. I was actually really looking forward to this movie. Like, I, Just based on the trailers, it looked pretty good, and I remember reading the Lorax when I was just a kid. Or, well, a younger kid. <laughs> so, um... The, this movie, I I think it, it lived up to it, its expectations. Like, to me, it felt a lot like it was Despicable Me, except with the Lorax in it. So th th that's the feeling it had. And it kind of had a similar theme to Spaceballs at one point. Like, seriously, there, there's, there's a joke they use in Spaceballs that is used very frequently in this movie. Y you'll, you'll know it when you get to it. Um... Uh... They they did it and actually they 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 did much better than I was expecting actually like uh they they had a bunch of song numbers which a couple of them were eh, they were all right and I, I was kind of like can we just skip the song but it's a kids movie so okay I get it um I like how they they went a little bit further than the than where the story ended in the the Lorax like. You know, they they took it a little bit further, and of course you gotta add in a little bit more stuff because you can only do so much with like a fifteen-page book, or I don't remember exactly how long the book is, but it's not that long. It's, it's just a few pages. So uh, converting it from the book to to the movie, th they did a pretty good job. I think they they picked the perfect voice for the Lorax, like Danny DeVito. He just he he really delivered the the character. So props for the casting and props to Danny DeVito. You did an excellent job. There's a lot of jokes in this movie that are clearly meant for kids. You know that yeah, it, it it's just like sort of slapstick humor, but it, it was it was still pretty humorous. Like uh, it it was still pretty humorous. It, it was like the the woodland creatures. Th they reminded me a lot of the minions from Despicable Me. So. So, from a rating from 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give this an 8.5. So, check this movie out when you, whenever you get a chance. What's your favorite movie based on a Dr. Seuss book? Post your response in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe.